But guys, in this video, I'm, I'm gonna cover Avalanche, how to set that up with MetaMask, how to fuel it with gas, how to bridge some tokens over from Binance, and use the decentralized exchange that is on that network. So um, I'm a little bit late to the party on, on Avalanche. However, I do believe it's got a lot of potential. So better late than never, this video is gonna cover everything you need to know. So if that sounds interesting, then watch until the end of the video. Hi, my name is Michael and I help new and experienced investors create profit and build wealth from cryptocurrency investing. So if that sounds like it might be of interest to you, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to get any of my future videos. Okay, so let's jump into it. So as I am recording this, AVAX is making all time highs. I mean, it's pretty much just gone parabolic. Uh, so it's probably ideally not the, the best time to be buying into this project, but I mean, it is, it has got a lot of legs, um, so I am going to just dip my toes in the water at this stage, and um, later if there are if there are dips, I will purchase more. Okay, so this is AVAX token. So you can buy it from a bunch of places here: Binance, Bitfinex, um, Hoyobi, KuCoin, etc. You do want to have an account on one of these exchanges because we will need to buy uh, some of the AVAX on an exchange and send it to our wallet so that we can fuel it with gas. Um, so not quite at that stage yet, but just giving you a heads up on that. Now, one of the main platforms on Avalanche is Trader Joe's. So this is the decentralized exchange. Think of it a bit like the Uniswap for AVAX. So it's done pretty well with its token. And look, if AVAX does well, this is gonna do well. So um, this is definitely gonna be a key platform that we use. And the reason why I'm starting with it now is because it just allows us to shortcut uh, setting up the AVAX network in MetaMask. So pretty much you just go to connect your wallet you choose the actual wallet that you want to connect to and click next and connect and it will actually add the avalanche chain uh, into here for you so if you click swap to avalanche chain if you haven't already added it it will actually add everything you need in there for you and you just click approve and switch and it'll switch to the mainnet c chain there are different chains um, on the avalanche network uh, at this stage, like when you're buying tokens and all the rest of it, that is going to be on the C chain. That's going to be the one that you use the majority of time. So just keep that in mind as you go forward using the network. So if you just make sure that in MetaMask you have the network as the Avalanche mainnet C chain and your wallet is connected, then you will have access to, to Joe. Now there's no point doing anything on here at the moment because we don't have any tokens, we don't have any AVAX. We basically don't have anything at the moment. So the first thing we want to do Okay, so we can see here we don't have any AVAX tokens. So the first thing we wanna do is actually fuel our wallet up with at least a little bit of AVAX for fees. So look, the easiest way to do that is just to buy AVAX from one of the exchanges um, that are selling it. And there's a whole bunch, Binance, KuCoin, Bitfinex. It's pretty popular now. So I've just picked up just a little bit. I've only got about $78 worth of USD here because I'm actually gonna bridge um, a whole bunch of BNB from uh, the Binance Smart Chain as a second part to this video. If you are gonna be bridging from Binance Smart Chain, then you do wanna buy um, more AVAX. You wanna buy as much AVAX that you wanna actually use on the AVAX network within your wallet, okay? So in this case, I'm only buying a little bit to use it for fees and I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna buy more of it when I move the BNB over a little bit later. So we're gonna go ahead and withdraw and basically I'm gonna put in my wallet address here, we're gonna select the network. So the network will, um, will actually automatically calculate for you and you'll see that it does choose the AVAX C chain, okay, which is where you'll be storing all of your tokens. And basically we'll just go ahead and um, execute the withdrawal and then those tokens will show up in our MetaMask wallet. So once that transaction comes through, we can now see that we have our 0.5612 of AVAX. So we have fueled our wallet. Now the next thing I want to run you through is how to bridge tokens across from Binance Smart Chain. Um, so there are a couple of ways to do this. I have found a, a little bit of a, I guess, a neat little trick or a hack using a platform called Elk Dex. So Elk Dex does have cross-chain swaps. So basically, we can um, we can uh, move uh, we can use this to move from the Binance Smart Chain to the Avalanche Chain. Okay, and so I'm gonna run you through how to do that here now, and this will be the cheapest way to do it. It'll have the lowest fees out of the different ways that you, you can do that. So the first thing is you do wanna make sure you are on the Binance Smart Chain to start with. So I'm gonna move across to that now. Now, the only way to move across um, using ELK is to actually buy ELK tokens. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my BNB, I'm gonna buy ELK tokens, I'm gonna to move it from Binance to Avalanche, and then I'm gonna sell that back to AVAX. And that's how I'm gonna achieve um, the bridging of my tokens across, okay? So the first thing we do is we choose our BNB, we then choose ELK as the, uh, where we wanna change the tokens to. Uh, you don't wanna use all of your BNB, you wanna leave some in there for gas. So I'm just gonna use say um, 3.3, 3. we'll leave a little bit in that wallet for gas. We'll go ahead and we will swap, confirm that swap, approve that transaction. Now once that goes through, you can see that we have our 668 of ELK. So what you wanna do is click ELK net up here and we wanna choose uh, which chain that we actually wanna send it to. Okay, so we're gonna choose the Avalanche chain and we're gonna go ahead and move um, our ELK across. Now when you go to do that, you will need to approve the ELK transaction. I have looked into this a little bit more as well and if you didn't have any AVAX in your wallet, you could actually tick this button. I think it gives you um, some AVAX for gas. So um, you could do that instead of sending across from another exchange, but hey, we've already done that now, so we won't be too bothered about that. So we'll go ahead and we'll transfer. So this is basically now gonna bridge these ELK tokens from a Binance Smart Chain to Avalanche. Now, once that goes through, you can then change your network back to Avalanche. And when you do that, you'll see that you now have your 668 tokens now on the Avalanche network. So you've successfully bridged those tokens across. And now all you wanna do, if you wanna move it to something else on AVAX, you just simply um, swap your ELK back to you know, AVAX, for example, which we'll do in this case. Okay, in order to uh, execute that swap for the first time, you do need to approve the use of ELK on the Avalanche network. So we will go ahead and approve that first. Once that's approved, you go ahead and execute the swap. So this is now converting our ELK back to AVAX and we've successfully now transitioned from our BNB on Binance Smart Chain, bridged it across to the Avalanche Chain and now swap that back into the AVAX token. And once that goes through, we'll now see that we have our 14.8 balance of AVAX. Now I have mentioned uh, Trader Joe. So this is like the Uniswap for uh, Avalanche. So, and it is quite a, quite a good project. It, it, I think it's gonna do really well as AVAX continues to do really well. So I think it's worth buying some of these tokens and staking those. So you can easily just do that through the trade screen. You just trade your AVAX uh, across to Joe and you decide how much that you, you do wanna um, switch across. Obviously you don't wanna use all your AVAX um, because you will uh, you have no money left for gas. But choose how much you want to execute. Uh, so you wanna swap use the swap button and this will get you your Joe token. Now in this case, I didn't swap any of my AVAX tokens because I actually had some Joe tokens on another exchange that I bought previously. So I've just set those across to my Avalanche wallet and so now I have those tokens and simply we can go across the stake here. We'll have to approve. Um, so it's beginning about 23.5% and we'll need to approve uh, to uh, have for Joe to use my, um, or access my Joe tokens. Once that goes through, you'll then be able to stake all of your Joe tokens like so. Click max and then stake and approve that transaction as well. Now once that goes through, you'll see how much your, of Joe you have staked and how much of your XJO balance that you have. Now the cool thing about XJO is you can additionally farm that. So we can go to farm and down here XJO will get about 30% on that, okay? So you could easily go and, and add that in there. Um, you do need to manually harvest that though, and this is where I wanna introduce you to a, a, another cool application called Auto Farm, okay? So this is autofarm.network. Please make sure that you get that address right because there is a scam one that has a different address. And this basically allows you to auto, um, auto reinvest your, uh, your reward so you don't have to keep on harvesting those, okay? And I have checked Avalanche and it does look like they have XJO. So I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna put my XJO in here just so we get that, um, that automatic um, reinvesting of those tokens. So it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll firstly make sure that you have your wallet connected uh, in Auto Farm, okay? Which um, it'll ask you to do basically when you, when you connect. Um, we'll go to XJO and then it'll also, it's already picking up my 206 tokens which we saw back here, uh, 206. And so simply we just click max and approve. Confirm that transaction. 
Once that's approved, we then go ahead and, and then deposit into this pool. And that's it, we're in. So we have our deposit amount, we had our APY down here, and there's a whole bunch of stats down here, but the main thing is you need to understand is it just compounds, automatically reinvest those rewards um, every 24 hours or so. Cool, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully that's been really useful and helped you get set up on the AVAX network. If you did uh, enjoy the video and it was beneficial, hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to get all of my future videos. Okay, thanks and we'll see you next time.